the way to the cup. A little bit short, second try, good, and a foul for Caitlin Clark. But also make sure she doesn't have a great position so it's not an automatic two when she feels a defender on her back. Shooting 68% from the floor this season. Caitlin Clark knocks down the three. Kylie Fierbach, the former Iowa State Cyclone and really good friend of Caitlin Clark from their days as AAU teammates. Clark is beaten up. She creates so much separation on that step back. Sonano. A couple of friendly taps on the rim for Sonano. I think she did kind of look like she tripped over her own feet, so that was a good no call. Warnock picks it up off the floor after Smith lost the handle. Clark for three. Got it. Her style of play lends itself well to that fast pace the Hawkeyes bring. Oh my gosh. Warnock looking like Monica Sonano inside. Somebody that doesn't get talked enough on this Iowa team. She can knock it down from fear. At one point, she led the team in three point shooting percentage a year ago as Covenant able to get to the ball. Helps spur any sort of run that they were able to come back and close the gap with. Cloud in nice Ooh. inside and a pretty finger roll. I don't understand why that's a foul because it's just a play on the ball, trying to fight for position. Kate Martin on the cut and the basket. Michigan State's done a better job getting back on defense when it comes to transition plays. Warnock. And Caitlin Clark threw that pass before Warnock was even open. Cloudin misses the mark. Smith, second try. O'Grady kept her arms straight and tall and helps win the ball for Iowa. Warnock with a pretty move inside and Clark dishing and dealing for Iowa's offense. Five on the shot clock. Alicia Smith had it stripped by Kate Martin, and O'Grady hits the floor to win the ball for Iowa. Hawkeyes try to build on a nine-point lead. Clark inside, and one. Eck throwing back out to Cloudon. Hageman open for three, and she hits it. Michigan State needed that. Great, but Hageman able to create enough separation to get an open shot. Warnock. Calls her own number and hits from deep. McKenna Warnock with her second three-pointer of the game. O'Grady with a beautiful pass over Tyre Parks. Clark's got options. Keeps it herself. 20 points for Caitlin Clark. This was a two-point game at halftime. It's now a 16-point lead for Iowa. Make it 14 after Dee Dee Hageman. Fierbach, Sonano, guarded by Parks, left hand. Down it goes. Hot when she rushed the field. Oh, yeah. Showing some athleticism. She still got it. It was a great season for Big Ten field hockey. Your Northwestern Wildcats won the national championship. Diverse offensive threat for them. A second score to Nia Clouden, something the Spartans desperately need. McKenna Warnock off to Marshall. Quick release from three. Nothing but net. For that sweet 16 run for Iowa last year, she's got nine points, three three-point field goals. Gabby Marshall. Joyner blocked by Clark. Joyner wins the battle for the rejection. Sonano on the feed from Marshall. It's been Marshall, it's been Clark, it's been Tywo. They've all been masterful getting the ball inside to Sonano. Clark thought about pulling the trigger. She'll take the assist instead on the three-pointer from McKenna Warnock. Wide left. Another rebound for Clark. She quarterbacks a pass up to Warnock who runs the floor and finishes. Joiner for three. Her first of the game. Farquhar. Scores around AJ Ettinger. She would look up at it and has just always loved Lisa Bluter yeah. and what she brings to the table. And her players all saying Bluter cares about us as people first and foremost. And that's what makes her so special. Overall as a head coach. Final possession now. Bounce pass Farquhar. 
she puts it in. And 88-61 the score, but frankly, not even that close the way Iowa blew the doors off the building in the third quarter and turned a two-point game into a route.